Hey there nerds, a little drive time comic book review with Jimmy. So I've been reading Miami Vice Remix uh, by IDW. I was a big fan of Miami Vice, the TV show. I thought the movie was entertaining, I enjoyed that. But there was something about the original Crockett and Tubbs that I just found fascinating. And was really excited when this comic book was announced. Thought they could do some great things with it. I'm now four issues in, and I'll be honest, I'm happy with some things, but I am really, really frustrated with one key point, and it's the artwork. I just can't stand the art. I think the style is messy and chaotic, and it bleeds into the lettering. It's actually hard to read this comic book, which makes it even more frustrating. I don't know why they chose this style, because I don't think it lends itself to sort of the fashion and, and, and class of the 80s Miami style. Um, I just think it's chaos. And I guess they were going on the other side of things with the drugs and the Colombians and the war and that sort of thing. But it just makes it hard to read. The actual art itself isn't bad, but the lettering drives me nuts. But then that makes me critique the art, which I, I can't stand. What I do like about it, and if you're a fan of Miami Vice, I think you'd like this too. They're against the evilness, family, whatever, empire that started the whole thing, the Calderones. I love that that is a major part of this story. I think it's just goes on with that continuation that the whole reason why Tubbs went to Miami was to track down his brother's killer, which was a Calderone, and that's how Crockett and Tubbs got hooked up. Uh, I appreciate that obviously we have Crack and Tubbs, but we get to see Castillo again too, which is nice. He's the police captain. Um, what I'm a little not sure of because I've seen every episode of the show and I can't think of a, a scene, it's been a while, but I can't remember any time where Castillo just flew off the handle and sort of blew up and ah, lost, his, lost his control on his emotions. But that's the one of the first times we're introduced to him in the comic book is he's like comes into the office screaming and yelling and ah, and it's like that's not the Castillo I remember. I always remember him being reserved and being one step ahead and very cool and calculating. Um, but you can forgive him in the book because there's sort of a tragedy against his family and that's a major part of the story, uh, tracking down his daughter who's been kidnapped. So you can kind of understand it, but. To be introduced that way, for the, to reintroduce that way for the first time, kind of bugged me. I didn't didn't necessarily like that. I do like how another major storyline involves a character from the pilot episode of the show. And many people might not know this. In fact, I might just be singing to the choir here, or I'm talking to a wall with people who don't even know about the show Miami Vice versus people who are fanatics like myself. In the very first pilot episode, Crockett is partners with a character named Eddie Rivera who was played by Jimmy Smits. It was very cool to see that storyline come back and a relationship come back and I, I just like how they did that. They The writers clearly mined the source material to write this book and that I appreciate. I do like the story. I think it's fun. It just is so annoying with the lettering and the font they used it's driving me nuts. So much so that I'm gonna, only gonna give this book two out of five nerd skulls because I, if you're not a Miami Vice fan, I have no idea why you would start reading this. If you are a Miami Vice fan, pick this up. It's very, very cool to get back into this world and for that I'm grateful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.